Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6443 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. I think I'm hitting the subscribe button over here. That's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. All right, so let's take a look at this super hard level, 18 moves, 90 jelly, 78 candy coats we have to collect, 78 of these things here. And if we match them when they're evenly coated, then the beautiful thing is they all snap off their coats. So we'll collect those right away. We'll collect 15 at least because we'll be matching five that are coated three times over. And we're going to get a color bomb here, right? Oh my goodness. Why did that not work? Is it because we created the color bomb? So that didn't work the way I had intended. And I think it's because this changed from blue to color bomb and so it didn't work. We'll try the same thing over here with the orange and the orange should work. There, see, that's what I was expecting. I learned a new thing about what happens when we create something and how it doesn't change the way I expect it to. Um, I could do this, these aren't evenly coded, but it would open things up a bit. But I wanna see about these stripes here. There we go, we're getting some stripes and we're working through here Let's set off a stripe and really try to open this board up. I'm going to do this and hope, yeah, that blue took off on its own. I was hoping to get another one, but close enough. That still helped. But see, I feel like, oh, this is going fairly well, and I'm making some pretty good moves, and then I realize ah, I have 10 moves left. Ooh, I like this. Didn't quite go as I expected, but it made a lot of chaos on the board. Oh, I want to open this and I want to use it with that. How can I do that? If I make a stripe, it drops down too far. So I'm going to go ahead and make a wrapped because wrapped are good on this board. I'll make that stripe. And can I set it together with a stripe draft combo? I can. The problem, oh, no, I can't. I was going to say the problem is I would hit this as well. So I wasn't planning to use that striped wrapped as it stood. How do I get that open? I might be trying too hard to get something that's just not going to work for me. I don't have a lot of purple on the board and I don't have a lot of green on the board. Let's take out some things that aren't very prevalent. Oops, we didn't get a combo, but the wrapped did open this up. Mm, I'm gonna go for some cascading because I don't have anything great. Oh, we got a color bomb. And remember, we've got these stripes coming. What if I take out all purple? Will I get a stripe to match up with it? No. I can do it here, though. And I've got quite a bit of green. I'm not going to make it, but let's see how close I get. There's a lot of green. Ah, <gasps> oh, is this enough? I don't think it's enough. I think we're going to get almost all the candy coats. Not quite. This little thing in the corner is going to have one left behind and we're going to have some residue of the jelly. So even, oh no, we got all of the candy coats, but even when things are going well, it's still a tough level. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off, but then at the very end, I'm going to come back through and narrate what you missed. So I'll see you in just a bit. So I'm looking for everything, even though I see a color bomb opportunity, I always want to try to look to see if there's anything better I can be doing. And I do like this idea of moving along the edges before I go to the top, because sometimes the top will fall into place on its own. Now I've got that color bomb wrapped up, but I do have a beautiful striped wrapped combo here I'm going to use, and I'm going to keep looking for those combos. But when they don't show up, sometimes I'll go straight for just a color. It doesn't really matter what color I take out because it will concentrate things down further. If I can get a combo, great. If I can't, I'm just going to go straight for uh, what I can do with a regular color bomb. And here I'm even going to take some risks that I might not normally take. But on this board, because it is, well, it started out as super hard and then it changed to nightmarishly hard on me. Don't know if you noticed that. Um, we do have to take some risks to make the very best of the board. So I really wanted to concentrate that purple before I used that stripe. And if it had just taken out a color and concentrated things down further, 
that would have been okay too. Turned out the best for me. And now I've got just this bottom area to concentrate on. I've got that color bomb, but I don't seem to be able to find a way to break it open and I can't get down into the frosting itself. So I'm looking for what colors could I take out that aren't very common on the board. Still couldn't even find anything there. So I looked for what I could do to disrupt that color bomb and make things happen. There we go. Finally, that color bomb is open, but it's not going to be enough. So I've got the opportunity to set out a stripe across that really thick stuff. Now is a good time to take out that green. And then, you know, obviously the purple, it's everywhere down at the bottom. So this is a perfect opportunity to send off a raft and it's going to hit that stripe to take out even one more layer of that really thick frosting that was left over. So that's how I get this done. Unfortunately, it did take between 30 and 35 tries to get it done. Not surprising based on how difficult the level is rated. But it gets finished when you persevere. As always, thank you so much for watching.